What's up guys, it's your boy Ricky and welcome back to another video. And guys, I've never done this before, but we're going to be talking about an episode of Demon Slayer. Bro, if you have not seen episode 19 of Demon Slayer, get, get out, get out of here. This is not for you. There's going to be a ton of spoiler. I, 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 I. This episode was so good that I'm making a video about it. That's how good it is. So we're, we're going to talk about it. Oh my God. I will, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for word. This, this, this episode, episode 19 of Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaba. I don't, I'm not even sure if I said that right, but bro. This episode was insane. I have never been so like, so emotionally like invested in an episode of an anime in a very, very long time. I was so like, I felt so much emotions, bro. I've never felt this way before. Like, oh my God. So for all of you that have seen the episode, you already know how everything went down. So at, at the beginning of the episode, uh, it you pretty much saw what happened from the ending of episode 18, which was one of the, I guess, one of the higher ranking demon slayers came through and, you know, killed one of the, I guess, the underlings of the true, the true, I guess, villain in this in this like arc series or you know what the episode right now uh and uh let's let's just talk about the most important thing uh one of the 12 kizaku kizaku 12 kizaku kizaku however you said the one of them the lore five it turns out one of them was you know the little kid the one that was manipulating all the threads and everything i had a feeling from like the past episodes i had a feeling he was the like the main one i knew he was one of them because he he, he just had that vibe about, about him you know but as we know tanjiro's sword broke and uh at that point i was like okay i guess he's gonna lose i get he's i guess he's gonna die i guess the other two people i guess they're the, gonna be the one that's gonna kill him the lore of five but boy oh boy was in for a big surprise i i'm i'm just tanjiro was struggling in this fight in the beginning of the fight he was struggling so much i honestly think he was gonna lose i honestly think he was gonna die as for me i'm just a anime watcher of this series I haven't read the manga, so I wouldn't really know what goes on further on in the series. So I, everything that happened in this episode it was a big shock to me. Every single episode is a big shock because I don't read the manga. So, so Tanjiro uh, is, you know, he's fighting him, the, one of the lower five of the 12 Kizuku, and he's almost near to like death. And out of nowhere, Nezuko just appears to you know defend him and from that point what the lore five of the 12 kizuku he got he, he he's turned to like a, a, a psychopath he's like she's like he's like so like in infatuated by how the the bond that tanjiro and nezuko have and and then he goes bonkers you know he, he's like I, I want i want nezuko i want her for myself I, i'm gonna control her just like i did with all these other people but no that wasn't gonna happen no 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 you already know tanjiro tanjiro our boy was not going to let that happen and you know you know what happened you know what you saw it that's why you're here you know what happened bro the scene where uh, where tanjiro is just focusing on his breathing He's just focusing on it and then he's going he's just like moving his body is just flowing like like water like some bruce lee stuff bro like this is what it is okay i said empty your mind be formless shapeless like water 
Now you put water into a cup. It becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle. It becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot. It becomes the teapot. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. He's just flooring with the water. He's just getting close, getting close, and then he's cutting the threads. He's actually cutting the threads this time. And then you know the lore five. He makes the threads stronger with his blood, with his blood art magic. You know the demon blood art thing. So it becomes stronger. The threads are. It becomes like a some sort of a web cage. And Tanjiro, he's in there, trapped. At the last moment, you know he has his water dragon coming through. And at that moment, he 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 he's saying to himself. He's going to die. He's going to lose. And at that point, me, I, I lost hope. I, I kind of lost hope. I lost so much hope. Like, during this fight, I didn't even say a word. I was just, like, like I was in awe. I was just paused right there. I was just, I was just, like, in tears. I kid you not. Tears were coming out of my eyes. That's how amazed I was by this anime. When the music came on, that just sealed in the deal. And, and then... Tanjiro, well, he's just, he's going through all these emotions, these thoughts, and he's just, uh, his, as at the beginning of the episode, as the lady said, everything is flashing before his eyes. He's seeing all his old memories of when he was a younger kid with Nezuko and uh, the his mother and father and everything. And then you, you see Tanjiro's dad, you actually see him this time, and you see uh, him dancing in the snow and in apparently this uh this the move that tanjiro move the that he used in this episode is pretty much something that's been in their family for so long and tanjiro i guess made a promise to his dad to carry on this you know tradition and boy did he carry it out bro when i saw those flames mix with the water i i i was amazed Everything about this episode was absolutely beautiful. Everything, everything, the art style. You already know Demon Slayer is always on top with the whole art and everything. I know the, the animators and everybody that's working on this anime, they put their heart and soul into this anime because you can see it. I wish Black Clover would do the same thing because Black Clover has the same potential as Demon Slayer. They're, they're, they're just lacking in the anime, you know? They're just, they, they, they have so much they could do, but that's for another time. But you could see it in Demon Slayer. Everything was so beautiful. It was like you were watching a anime movie, some, some high production. So like they pour so much money. Let's hope they didn't pour all the funds into this one episode. Let's hope not. Let's hope the next episodes are just as good. But yeah, Tanjiro, as you know, Tanjiro was able to cut the neck this time. But that was because of our, our, our precious, precious Nezuko. Because we finally got to see her powers, her blood art magic, which is like uh, blood art exploding uh, blood would pr pretty much exploded in it into like flames with the blood mixing through the threads and everything and then that gave uh Tanjiro a chance to not get hurt or potentially die as you know as you saw that Nezuko was being talked to by the mother I guess like a like a I guess a spiritual type thing I don't know how that works but she was just there just saying Nezuko wake up you have to you have to save Tanjiro if you don't he's gonna die uh, I don't know what that was all about I don't know. she was unconscious but you know what that, that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know try to argue anime logic but when that happened and Tanjiro had an opening he 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 saw the opening and he went in that 12 Kizaku the lower five, he was fearing for his life. Tanjiro had no chance, you said. You dead. You dead. <laughs> Bro, the, everything, the soundtrack, everything about this episode, everything was just, everything was blended so beautifully that I was so impressed that I, I, I decided to make this video because that, that's how impressed I was. I've never been so impressed with an anime episode in a very long time. 
So thank you, Demon Slayer. Thank you to the creator of Demon Slayer, Kuyo Haru. I, I hope I'm saying that right. That's the author of the Demon Slayer series. And uh, I want to thank all the animators, everybody that worked on this episode, all the episodes pretty much. Thank you very much because, boy, I've never had tears coming down my eyes. Like, I wasn't crying because I was sad. I was just so freaking amazed that freaking tears, bro, were coming out, bro. And I was just in the moment just watching this. It's just I, words can't describe, you know, I know, I know some of you felt what I was feeling. That's, that's, it's just, uh, I just want to share my thoughts. It's just, bro, it was amazing. It was amazing. If you guys, I, I hope you've seen the episode if you're watching this, but yeah, if not, you just got spoiled. I did warn you at the beginning of the video. I did. I did. So yeah, guys, that's just it uh man if there's even more like episodes like that that surprised me down the road i'll be sure to make a video about it to share my thoughts and whatnot but yeah guys this has been ricky aka woodshill and guys i will see you in the next video ricky is out woodshill is out see you guys